Well, that was fun. I feel as awful as I look. It usually never takes me more than, you know, I just turn on the camera and start talking. It's Fuck Yeah Friday. But this week, this is like the fourth time I had to restart this because I can't even remember things like, this is Fuck Yeah Friday, number 55, December 12th, 2014. Uh, I've been having a lot of migraines and my brain hurts a lot because we've been doing a lot of recording. And DJ's guitars were so fucking loud, and I had to listen to it in my face for four days. Well, he had to listen to it too, but then I had to repeatedly mix it. And just I'm just tired of complaining to you about this process, so maybe I'll stop. But within a week, we will be completely done with recording our new record. Thank fucking God. And that means it should be out early next year. But we don't have any of the details for you yet surrounding the release. There's lots to say about that and lots coming. But what I am happy for is for us to be done with it and to move on again and just do what we used to do. We used to do Fuck Yeah Friday videos just to be better. Admit it. I agree. Because I had more time to put into it. So they will be better again. We can do lots more photo shoots. We'll be releasing music videos again, lyric videos. All that fun stuff that we used to do quite a bit but haven't been because living in Los Angeles is very tough too and it's very hard on me. I don't like it here. I don't like it here at all for for a number of reasons. If you've noticed, I've gotten a bit more negative too as a person than in the last year or two since we've started Fuck Yeah Friday and it's not anything I'm proud of and I'm not more negative at, at heart. I still am, you know, very positive but it's just hard to you know, feel good all the time when you're living somewhere that you really don't want to be and hate it completely. But we are making music that we really enjoy, and I'm here with my friends, so that all helps, but... It's so rare to see such a dismal day here in Los Angeles, and it's like the first or second one I can even remember in being here almost a year, and it's fucking beautiful. It matches my soul. Oh, Los Angeles, you evil being. Look at me, I have like black stuff under my eye that isn't makeup. That never happens, I don't think. It's because I'm like, how many times did I listen to this song? I've probably listened to each song. There's 13 songs on the record. And I've probably listened to each song since the time I started demoing them in January. I've probably heard each song at least five to 700 times, and I'm not even kidding. I wish that was a joke. It's not a joke. That is true. And I don't, I've never heard any other song. I've probably heard a lot of other songs 500 times. But not within like an eight-month period. It's making me go crazy. This week's question of the week comes from Tumblr, as usual, and this week is an anonymous question. We usually don't ever answer anonymous questions. We always see them. It's not that we don't like anonymous questions. We just, for some reason, you know, are hesitant to answer questions that are presented under anonymity. And this week's question is, why do you guys not like to own things? I know oftentimes you'll overhear us saying in videos or whatever how we don't own things or don't like to own a lot of stuff. And this is true. Even with the, all the microphones and everything we just used to record our new record, we bought used on eBay and then we were selling them. Like as soon as we get it, we would relist it and sell it and then use that three days to record and then just keep the cycle going. Because we don't like to have stuff laying around or own things. And I think that we all, all of us individually are like this, which is very strange. But... I think that owning too much stuff or stuff that you don't really care about is is, is anxiety and it's kind of like, it's just too much baggage. I think life is, is hard enough the way it is and just, just for some reason you can really get weighed down by all the stuff that you own. Not even, I don't even mean in the sense of like, oh, you have to move and now you have to get all the stuff out of your apartment. Just the, that feeling of having all the stuff that you own around you is, is to me, 
is very entrapping. It's very, it kind of holds you down. Not everybody feels that way. And I don't really have like a materialistic sense in anything. Like my uh, two guitars and my amp both have sentimental value. And I think sentimental value is good, but only to a certain extent. Because you can put sentimental value on anything. And then you can own a whole garbage dump full of stuff and be a hoarder because it all is sentimental to you. So you have to really control that too. But I don't know. I just think, personally for me, I just think owning things is too much stuff. There's something about it. It's not the way to go. I hope that answers your question. It wasn't very in-depth. Maybe I should own a better hair comb or hair style and hoard that because I don't know what the fuck is going on there. Stuff you find on the ground in Los Angeles. A shoe, feces, and Chinese food all infused together. Oh, Hollywood. Look, it's the car bumper from like a month ago. It didn't make it very far. It's still across the street. Ain't that something, Daisy? So we're just walking along here and I found this tagged up Big Wheels army truck just chilling on the side of the road here in Los Angeles. And it's funny how I say things found on the ground in Los Angeles and everything in this series has been things on my street. It gets more intense if we were out and about. I think this is reefer on the back. But this is a straight up tagged up Big Wheels army truck just chilling on the side of the road. I don't really think this is very strange. But I find it interesting for a number of reasons. And I can't lie to you. I wouldn't lie. I just haven't been my energetic, happy self as of late. And I wouldn't lie and pretend that I am here on the Fuck Yeah Friday. So I'll make a shitty video of me sitting at my table complaining, sort of, to you. Rather than lie to you and make a normal video that we will be making again once things get back to normal. Once my brain has unfried itself. I don't know how that's going to happen. Maybe, maybe my brain just finally fried itself. Anyway... As always, thank you for watching this and all of the videos here on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe because our YouTube channel is about to get a lot better. Once we're done recording, it's going to be I'm going to have the time to put into it. I'm going to make the videos are all going to be better, the channel's going to look better, and it's going to be a good fucking time. And I'm excited for the next few months, and I hope that you are too. Until then, see you next week. Don't bury me just to dig me up. I'm just Stuck in your ground, folks